With the SAG-AFTRA strike finally coming to an end, there is hope that normalcy will be resumed in Hollywood very soon. And of course, that means all your most anticipated movies are one step closer to finally hitting the big screen. From news on Timothy Chalamet's Dune 2 to Zendaya finally returning to the big screen with Challengers, this is the latest roundup on all the movies you've been looking forward to. Spider-Man is one of the most favorite action heroes all around the world. Every time the fans are curious to see which supervillain will face Spider-Man, this time the Marvel group focuses on an old character from the comics. Sergei Kravinov, a founding member of the Sinister Six and a legendary Spider-Man villain created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko, was hinted at in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 2014. Craven is portrayed in Marvel Comics as a Russian prince whose family was forced to relocate to America in 1917 as a result of the February Revolution. The movie is shrouded in mystery, but a sneak peek at CinemaCon hinted at thrilling action. The trailer teases Craven's transformation, showcasing his powers and a taste for brutal combat. In a shift from the PG-13 Morbius, Sony appears to be embracing an R-rated approach, akin to Deadpool. The film draws inspiration from Marvel Comics' Kraven's Last Hunt. Although a Spidey crossover seems unlikely due to Marvel Studios' Spider-Man 4, the movie may delve into Kraven's origins, paving the way for a potential sequel. Writer Richard Wank has even mused about a two-part narrative. Craven the Hunter was originally set to be released on January 13, 2023 and October 6, 2023. However, due to sag after strikes, the picture was postponed for 10 months to August 30, 2024. Timothy Chalamet is one of the brightest actors, and he has proved it every time. It's no secret that his movie Dune was one of the most anticipated films of 2021. Denis Villeneuve's newest feature-length cinematic version of Frank Herbert's renowned sci-fi classic has an all-star cast. Its sequel, Dune Part II, aims to build on the popularity of the original film and is already one of the most anticipated films of 2023. Part 2 is likely to pick up where the first left off. We left off with Timothy Chalamet's Paul Atreides and his mother finding refuge with the Fremen after being exiled due to a Harkonnen coup on Arrakis. In the sequel, we'll witness Paul's journey to earn the Fremen's trust and his plans for vengeance against the Harkonnens to regain his family's throne. Plus, there's more to look forward to, as Paul's relationship with Chani, his love interest, will be explored further, a character who had limited screen time in the first movie. Dune Part 2 will be released in cinemas on March 15, 2024. Originally known as Captain America New World Order, the film has been renamed Captain America Brave New World and continues the story of Sam Wilson, portrayed by Anthony Mackie, who has taken up the Captain America mantle following the events of the Disney Plus series The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Originally set to hit theaters on May 3, 2024, the film's release has been pushed back to February 14, 2025 due to recent changes in Marvel's film schedule. While plot details have been kept secret, director Julius Ona described the film as a paranoid thriller during the 2022 San Diego Comic-Con. Fans are speculating that Brave New World might draw inspiration from the politically charged tone of Captain America the Winter Soldier, one of the most acclaimed entries in the MCU. The film explored themes of government distrust and corruption, much like 70s political espionage thrillers. While we can't confirm the plot just yet, it's safe to say Sam Wilson will face some sinister forces. Harrison Ford steps into the role of General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, taking over from the late William Hurt. Sam Wilson and Ross have a rocky history, stemming from Ross's imprisonment of Wilson for defying the Sokovia Accords. Executive producer Nate Moore hints at a showdown between them. Returning from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series are Danny Ramirez as Joaquin Torres and Carl Lumley as Isaiah Bradley. Tim Blake Nelson reprises his role as Samuel Leader Stearns, while Liv Tyler returns as Betty Ross. Harrison Ford shared his excitement about joining the Marvel Universe, stating his desire to try something new and please audiences. The cast expands with Shira Haas as Sabra, Marvel's first Israeli superheroine, and Zosha Rockmore in an undisclosed role. 
Julia Louis Dreyfus returns as Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, likely stirring up some mischief. Sebastian Stan won't appear as Bucky Barnes in this film as he's slated for Thunderbolts, led by Val. WWE star Seth Rollins has also joined the cast in a secret role, so let me know who you think he's going to play down below. The legendary post-apocalyptic action series created by George Miller and Byron Kennedy is gearing up for its next film installment in 2024, titled Furiosa. Mad Max's world is set in a future Australia where society has crumbled due to conflicts and resource shortages. The films follow the adventures of Max Rokitansky, a former police officer turned rugged survivor. Now, Furiosa is set to give us a glimpse into the backstory of one of the franchise's most iconic characters, Imperator Furiosa, portrayed by Charlize Theron in Fury Road. Furiosa first graced our screens as Immortan Joe's logistics whiz in Fury Road. In the upcoming prequel, we'll discover how she went from serving Immortan Joe to rebelling against him, all in the name of saving the five wives. Furiosa has been celebrated worldwide as a strong female action hero. Originally slated for a 2023 release, Furiosa was pushed back to May 24, 2024 to coincide with Memorial Day weekend. The film is expected to premiere at the 2024 Cannes Film Festival before its wide release, adding to the anticipation. The cast of Furiosa is nothing short of stellar. Anya Taylor-Joy, known for her breakout role in Netflix's The Queen's Gambit, will step into the young Furiosa's shoes. Meanwhile, Chris Hemsworth, famous for his MCU role, will take on a yet-to-be-revealed villainous character, leaving fans eager to see him in a new light. The official synopsis promises a gripping tale of Furiosa's journey from her early days in the green place of many mothers to her fateful encounter with Max Rokitansky, her evolution into a strong, morally driven leader, and her origin story for her prosthetic arm will likely also be explored, making Furiosa a must-see for fans and action enthusiasts alike. Zendaya is now all set to make a smashing entrance into the world of cinema in 2024 with her new dramedy, Challengers. In the film, she plays the complex character Tashi, who's described as messy and conflicted. But here's the scoop, the release date for Challengers has been pushed back to April 26, 2024, which is a significant delay from its initial date of September 15, 2023. Originally, the film was supposed to premiere at the 2023 Venice Film Festival, but it had to pull out of the opening night feature due to an ongoing strike by SAG-AFTRA, which prevented stars like Zendaya from promoting the movie. So no glitzy red carpet for the Challengers crew this time. Now, because Challengers will be an exclusive theater release, no word on when it'll hit streaming platforms just yet. And here's a heads up for parents or anyone who's a bit sensitive. The film is rated R for its use of language, some steamy scenes, and graphic nudity. Zendaya shares the screen with Josh O'Connor and Mike Faist, playing Tashi, Art, and Patrick, respectively. Tashi is a tennis sensation turned coach, Art is her husband and her new protege, and Patrick is, well, Art's ex-best friend and Tashi's ex-lover. That's quite the love triangle they've got going on. The movie is directed and produced by Luca Guadagnino, known for his work on Call Me By Your Name and Suspiria. The official synopsis promises intense drama both on and off the tennis court with secrets, rivalries, and high stakes. The trailer, released in June, already got tongues wagging, featuring the three main characters in the midst of a passionate love triangle. Godzilla and Kong are stomping back onto our screens in April 2024 with Godzilla x Kong The New Empire. And this highly anticipated sequel was officially confirmed back in March 2022 and is the fifth installment in the thrilling MonsterVerse series. Originally slated for a March 15, 2024 release, the movie's launch got pushed back to April 12, 2024 thanks to some calendar reshuffling by Warner Brothers, likely due to the strikes in the entertainment industry. While the possibility of further delays looms, we are keeping our fingers crossed for a timely release. The movie will reunite us with some familiar faces, including Rebecca Hall, Brian Tyree Henry, and Kaylee Hoddle, who reprise their roles as Dr. Eileen Andrews, Bernie Hayes, and Gia. However, it seems that Millie Bobby Brown, Kyle Chandler, and Alexander Skarsgård won't be making a comeback, despite surviving the previous showdown. The reasons for their absence remain a mystery. 
The cast also welcomes newcomers like Dan Stevens, Fala Chen, Alex Ferns, and Rachel House, though their roles are shrouded in secrecy. Dan Stevens has been identified as the movie's lead. The official synopsis promises an intriguing adventure, exploring the Titans' histories, origins, and the mysteries of Skull Island. It teases an undiscovered threat that challenges the very existence of Godzilla and Kong while forging a deeper connection with humankind. In this thrilling film, Statham takes on the role of Mr. Clay, a former member of the powerful group known as the Beekeepers, who has swapped a life of action for a quieter one tending to bees. But when tragedy strikes and his neighbor takes her own life after falling victim to a phishing scam, Mr. Clay embarks on a quest for vengeance against the shady company behind it, leading to high-stakes action on a national level. MGM has marked its calendar for the theatrical release on January 12, 2024. Of course, with Statham in the lead, we can expect no shortage of action considering his track record in the Fast and Furious franchise, The Expendables, and The Meg. Joining him in this adventure are a star-studded cast, including Emmy Raver Lampman, Josh Hutcherson, Bobby Nadiri, Minnie Driver, Felicia Rashad, and Jeremy Irons. Sonic has proven that the supposed curse on video game adaptations can be broken, delivering both critical acclaim and a box office bonanza. The news of Sonic 3 comes hot on the heels of the sequel's success, which saw the introduction of Idris Elba as Knuckles in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. The anticipation for a third installment was hardly a surprise given the franchise's box office success, raking in over $700 million worldwide across the first two movies. Director Jeff Fowler and his team started filming in August 2023, although due to the 2023 actor's strike, they initially focused on shooting CGI-heavy scenes without actors. Whether this will impact the production schedule remains to be seen. Excitingly, the familiar voices of Ben Schwartz and James Marsden return, bringing Sonic and Tom back to life on the big screen. Idris Elba reprises his role as the voice of Knuckles, and Colleen O'Shaughnessy returns as the lovable yellow fox, Tails. Some human characters are also making a comeback, with Tika Sumpter returning as Tom's wife, Maddie, and Natasha Rothwell as her sister, Rachel. And who knows, we might even see Shamar Moore again as Rachel's fiancé and undercover gun agent. However, there's some bittersweet news on the casting front. Jim Carrey, who nailed the role of Dr. Robotnik in the previous movies, won't be returning. He expressed his intention to retire from acting following Sonic the Hedgehog 2, leaving fans to wonder if he might make a cameo appearance in Sonic 3. The storyline for Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is currently under wraps, but there are hints that Shadow the Hedgehog could be the next antagonist. The post credits scene in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 introduced Shadow, and it seems he's ready to cause some chaos. While there's no Sonic the Hedgehog 3 trailer just yet, we're hoping to catch a glimpse by fall 2024. So which release are you excited about most? Let me know in the comments.